Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condone with the KKK. Some of you all need to get that through your head. guys how are you all doing it's a girl cindy welcome back again to another video i trust you guys are having amazing and beautiful time out there today thank you so much for clicking to watch this video so i just want to share with you this video i saw that is partially going viral on tiktok so this white woman's video is getting attention on tiktok because of what she said in this video now take a look at her caption the caption of the video it says supporting donald trump does not make you racist and she went on to say that supporting donald trump does not mean that they hate women does not mean that they condone with the kkk does not mean that they support or like grapes she said a whole lot in this video which is not sitting well with a lot of people and they are stitching her video canceling her now we are gonna see this video of course and i'm gonna show you some screenshots of comments and of course some stitches just because we're voting for donald trump does not mean we're racist it does not mean that we agree or condone with the kkk it doesn't mean we hate women it doesn't mean we're, we don't care about women's rights it doesn't mean that we like uh, rapists it doesn't mean any of those things because you vote for a person it does not make us stupid and certainly doesn't make us uneducated all it says about us is we're voting on facts not emotions it doesn't matter who anybody votes for it certainly doesn't make you a bad person because you vote for a certain candidate some of you all need to get that through your heads because this should getting old this video like i said is going viral a lot of people are not liking this video including her fellow white people just because we're voting for donald trump does not mean we're racist it does not mean that we agree or condone yes it does and here's why when you support a man who embodies all the things you just talked about homophobia sexism misogyny racism when you support a man that has that kind of character you are saying I agree with his behavior. I agree with the way he speaks and I agree with who he is as a person. When you ignore the fact that this man has been found liable for essay, that the judge came out and said, make no mistake, he is guilty of our wording that woman. You ignore that and you make excuses for that, even though you know it's wrong, you are participating in our word culture. Because if you don't think that putting a man in office who has violated women in that way will not affect the policies against women, then you are naive. The character of our president is crucial because it's not just about his leadership style. It is also about the direction and the integrity of our nation. Our leader's moral compass will affect his policies, his actions, and ultimately defining the way our nation behaves. It is a, not just a matter of politics, but national significance. I wanna put it to you a little bit more simpler. Let's say you have a son and you, your son brings home someone like Donald Trump and that kid says something homophobic, racist, or sexist. Would you allow your child to still play with that kid? The answer is most likely no because you know that the character of your child will now start to behave that way. And that's not good for anybody. But let's take it a that step further. Let's say your kid brings home another kid and that kid violates someone in your family. Maybe does what Trump did to other women. Would you allow that person, that kid near anyone in your family anymore? The answer is no. And you know this already, you know this, you're smart enough. You know that, that those things are wrong and that you would not allow that in your household. So why would you make excuse for that and have it as your president? It's that simple. All my love. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condone. It means that you condone the racist activities and you will overlook them to vote for a candidate and B, you're voting for a man that set up on national TV and set out his mouth that immigrants at Springfield are eating cats and dogs. You're voting for a man that said immigrants are in household pets. That does make you not smart. That does make you unintelligent, honey. 
just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condemn. Yes, it does. Like, because if you don't believe those things, then why do you support policies that enforce those things? So yeah, that's exactly what it means, and that's how I'll judge you. Because if you don't support those things, then why else are you supporting Trump? And why do you support the things that he says that are racist, homophobic, anti-woman? So yeah, yeah, it does. That's exactly what that means. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condemn. Yes, it does. 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 Yes, 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 it does. Yes, it does. See, the problem is y'all don't believe that you can't have it both ways. You can't sit here and sign on to this rhetoric. You can't sit here and sign on to this shit. And then have people in your lives believe that you love them and you care about them and you want the best for them because he's completely antithetical to every single one of those notions. So yes, that's exactly what the fuck it means. It means you are an enemy to humanity, kindness, safety, everything that you want for yourself, but you, you are sent down to a man who does not want that for others or for that matter, you. The cognitive dissonance is just too thick with y'all because yes. You supporting him? That is exactly what that means. Yes. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condemn. Why, well, yes, ma'am, it does mean that. It means completely, precisely, and exactly that. Because you are who you stand with. Now, if you're going to be all upset about people thinking that you're racist or homophobic or misogynistic or classist or anti-worker or any kind of anything, maybe you ought to reconsider where you stand. What matters more to you? The good opinion of every normal human being in this country or the hateful rhetoric that you're standing with? There are an awful lot of Republicans in this country that won't stand with that man. And the fact that you still have the audacity to come out here and say, well, I'm voting for Donald Trump, but that doesn't mean, yes, ma'am, it does mean that. Just accept it. Good Lord, you made your choice. You should be happy about it. Those are the people you chose to stand with. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not Good evening. I have a question for you. If you support somebody who's a racist, who has racist policies, who has done a lot of racist things and says a lot of racist stuff. Now, maybe you don't know it's racist because you're white. Maybe you don't know it's racist because you don't ever pay any attention to uh, racist tropes. All of those things combined, what do, what do you think they make you? Hmm? I'll tell you in case you can't figure it out. It means you're a racist. Now, you might be a low-key racist. You might be a racist who doesn't have any idea what racism really means besides overt things. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you and give you a little grounding. But yeah, you follow a rapist, you approve of what a, 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 a racist, you approve of what a, a, what a racist does and how he behaves and the things that he says. Yeah, it's pretty racist. Okay, there's no walking away from that. Wear it well, embrace it, because if that's you, it's you. Understand? All right, good talk. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condemn. So you're honestly saying, in your own defense, that you're not a racist. You just vote and support people that are racist themselves and support racist policies. Am I getting that right? Is that what you're saying? It's not that you yourself are a racist, you just support and vote for people that are. I really hate to use this example, but it's the example that comes to mind. What would you think about someone that said, hey, I'm not a Nazi, I just voted for Hitler. I mean, yeah, he said he was going to do all those things to Jewish people, but it doesn't mean I'm a Nazi. I just voted for the guy that wanted to kill them all. I love Jewish people. Does that make sense to you? This is ugly. And the way that people 
who have these kind of attitudes try to talk themselves into the fact that they don't have those attitudes is ugly. But I've noticed one thing in my somewhat long period on this earth, and that is that it's very, very rare for somebody who is a racist to understand that they're racist. Very rare thing. But there's a lot more racist people that are racist that don't admit they're racist than there are that do admit to it. You don't have to be out and proud to be a racist. You just need to support that kind of ideology. But then you're a racist. I don't make the rules. Logic does. Reason does. Maybe rethink that. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. Does not yes. Yes, it does. And it means that you support every position that he takes. I understand that you have a right to vote for who you think is the best candidate, but you do not have the right to come out here and tell us how we should think or feel about it. If you're voting for Donald Trump, you're a racist. Full stop. There's even a song about it. I'm just saying. Okay. You have a day. Just because we're voting for Donald Trump does not mean we're racist. It does not mean that we agree or condemn. Let me tell you something that a few elders told me growing up. And this is when I was young, dumb, running the streets, whatnot, so on and so forth. Several people used to always tell me, you are who you associate with. For anybody who's ever been in that lifestyle or been in a bit with no one talking about, that's what, that, that, that is very true. You are who you associate with. Now you say you're voting for him, but you don't always agree with this and a third. Here, here's my sense. Here's how, how I feel. If you're supporting a person that does these things, who's to say you don't? Even if you call out you know, I hate when people do this. Yeah, I know he's a bad guy. I know he says some dumb shit. I know he does this, but you are the worst people. You are the worst people in the world. You are the exact worst people in the world. That you will overlook all the really, really bad shit because you identify or you might or you might like the person or you might or you might you might feel some type of way about that person. You're still supporting them in all their endeavors. Some of you like to straddle that fence a little bit and it doesn't work that way. You're either all in with somebody or all out. So remember, guilty by association. You are who you associate with. So if you're associating yourself with a racist, sick fuck, orange motherfucker like that, you support it. Hell, some of y'all the same motherfuckers that that uh, that still listen to R. Kelly records. Some of y'all out there still uh, watching Weinstein films. Yeah. So it does make you just as responsible or just like that person in a lot of ways. So don't come in here and be like, oh, but we, I don't think I don't believe in that way. But why are you siding with it? Why are you siding with that side then? If you don't believe in all that. Really do some soul searching. Really think about that. Because even with people that I like that I do wrong, I disassociate. That I may have used to like, I disassociate. Or we check them. Or we stay clear until they ch change up or fix what they what they done. You're perpetuating a cycle right here. You're allowing it to be done. You're allowing it to happen. Because even though you may not agree with that side, when he gets in office, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? You have to be real with yourself. You have to. You have to be really real with yourself. If you associate with a racist, you're also a racist.
point blank period. Ain't no way around it. And it goes for even the black and brown Trump sports. Y'all sellouts. You are a sellout. There's no other way around this. And most of us are tired of explaining that to y'all. We really are. You Trump supporters are just as delusional as some of these little Wayne fans for the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I'm trying to be funny, but God damn. Damn. And I get it, I get it. Most y'all want the power back. You people want to be back on top. We want someone that represents y'all to be back on top. Let's make America great again. Sometimes you indirectly support these negative things. But you're too blind to see it. Too damn blind. It's unfortunate. So I took some screenshots of comments from her comment section so you guys can see what other people said about her video. Please pause to read if you want to. Everybody knows who Donald Trump is and the fact that he doesn't hide himself like he doesn't hide who he is. Now, if you decide that you want to support him, you want to vote for him, that's fine. It is your right. You have every right to vote, you know, whoever you feel that, okay, this, this person is okay for me. You have absolutely every right to do that. Show me your friend and I will tell you exactly who you are. But then coming on social media to say all the things that you said. Now, that is why people are coming for you. Anyways, you guys, I don't know. I just saw this video. I thought I should bring this video here. Let me know what you all think in the comment, what you have to say. Obviously, immigrants are not happy with all the things Donald Trump has been saying about them. And in the comment, like they keep saying, it does it does yes it does let me know what you all think in the comment what you have to say thank you all so much for watching and remember to please keep it respectful in the comment and don't forget to subscribe like this video share comment i come back with another video i'm gonna see you all in my next one y'all stay blessed bye